I am ranking all 82 maps that comes with City Skylines. This episode is Airport's DLC. This series is tournament style with the best map from each DLC sent to the final round to determine which map is truly the best map in City Skyline. Here's the point breakdown. Transportation accounts for 4 points with highways, railroads, shipping, and airports counting for 1 point each. Resources are worth 2 points, half a point for each type of resource. How the map looks is worth 3 points. And personal preferences account for 1 point. The maximum any map can score is 10 points. The first map is Asanu Beach. Highway's pretty flat so far. There's a few bumps here and there. We go over the railroad here, which is alright, it's not terrible, but it's not great either. Terrible vanilla interchange. What is this? That's atrocious. This section right here is atrocious. Terrible vanilla interchange. Yeah, I can't go wrong that side. This is a little strange over here. I don't like the highways in this map. Rail line goes through the mountains here. At least it decided not to go over them. But it is a little bit bumpy. Goes by this abandoned power or abandoned factory. It's a little bit bumpy there, not a big fan of that. They went over this pretty well, that's pretty good. And then they went up the mountain over here. Yeah, I can already tell you without having to look at that that that's too steep. Way too steep. Shipping is unimaginative. Not excited about it at all, but it's not terrible. Well, there's plenty of area to build an airport. Can't go wrong there. There's plenty of resources available, and you have just about every single resource in the first tile, albeit not that much of oil and ore or forestry. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. I do really like the look of the map, though. The look of the map is pretty, like, really good for vanilla. I think this looks really cool. Would I be willing to play it? I would, but there'd have to be a lot of modifications, especially done to the highways, in order for me to do that. The second map is Hanami Bay. It's a little bit bumpy, but it's pretty good. It's, it's flat, so I don't have any complaints about that. Terrible. Wait. They actually customized an interchange here? It's not perfect, but it's better than their vanilla one. Wow. Come along here, and then we just go right back to terrible interchange, of course. And we go up a mountainside, and I can guarantee you that's too steep. Not a big fan of that. And we come over here. I hate that. Why does it need to be a suspension bridge? There's no need for that. Absolutely no need for that. Okay, they attempted another interchange. I can at least appreciate it. And that's too steep for sure. Coming over this way. A little bit bumpy. That's atrocious. That does not need to be suspension bridges at all. And yeah, okay. So this isn't great for highways. Not great at all. Can railroad make up for it? Pretty flat, but it's really wibble wobbly. And it ends right there? What? Oh, there's another one over here. Alright, well, we got this at least. But I can tell you it's too steep already. I do like how it bridges over a dry riverbed. That's pretty cool. Or maybe even a dry lake bed. That's really neat. And we come over here and we're climbing up the hillside and it's too steep. So, that's not great. You can't even get to the railroad until you get two tiles minimum. Well, at least they did something right and uh, brought the shipping route up here. So, it's not perfect, but it's better than the other things so far. Uh, there's not a lot of space to build an airport. You'd have a hard time getting a really nice airport in this map, so good luck. There's plenty of resources, but none of them are abundant near you. So that's not great. The one redeeming factor about this map is that it actually looks really good. Like, I really like the look of this map. There's a lot of elevation differences. There's a really nice shoreline. Just the look of it is superb. It's just everything else sucks. So because of everything else, I won't play this map. The third map is Know You Port. Pretty flat, pretty smooth, wide curves. 
I can appreciate that. Nice big bridge. And the uh, piers make sense where they're at. A nice custom interchange. They actually did a pretty good job on it too. I'm impressed. It's a little bit bumpy on this side. And it's probably just a little bit too steep over here. But it's not terrible. And this side looks pretty good. There's another custom interchange over here and that looks really nice. Yeah, this, this one's looking good. I like how it does that. Yep, that's good. Bridging over probably a couple dry riverbeds, so that makes sense. I mean, it's not a perfect highway, but it's as close as you can get. I think that's pretty good. All right, so here's the only rail line. It's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Dry riverbed makes sense. And it just ends right here. That's really far away. I, I don't appreciate that. That's two tiles away. Not a big fan of that. Doesn't even go all the way through. You have no other connections. At least not that I've seen. The shipping routes are pretty good. I like them. It is a little hard to kind of squeeze through that, so I'm not sure about that, but other than that, it's pretty good. Airports are pretty good, but you can probably only go this way because of the mountains unless you get it over here. So there's every resource in the first tile. And there's plenty of resources available. That's perfect. As for the look of this map, I actually really do like the look of this map. I think this map looks great. The shoreline looks awesome. I like these little islands here. The mountains in the background look really cool. This is one of my top favorite maps based on looks alone. I would be willing to play this. The winner of the sixth bracket of maps is No you Port. If you'd like to see which map wins this tournament, make sure you subscribe and tune in tomorrow to see the next episode. I wanted to take a minute to thank Grottles for helping me rank all 82 maps. May God bless you and have a wonderful day.